Hey guys, I'm um, just doing a quick Friday garage sale pickup. I'm probably going to put this on the beginning of my usual weekend uh, game hunting adventure. Um, first thing, I don't have the shelves on it because I'm lazy and I just got it heavy and I'm tired. Uh, I got a very nice uh, bookcase slash DVD shelf for $5 at a garage sale. I have to kind of work on fixing the back of it on the bottom because it's kind of falling out of the back. I just need to put some some nails in there and secure it into place. Angelica's checking it out. I guess it came from a pet pet owned house. Uh, pet owned because pets own the house pretty much. So she's giving it a good smell and Jeremiah's here and he's going to give it a good smell too. Um, they also had some video games there which I was very happy about because they only advertised on their listing that they had anime of things that would make me think that I might find something here. I figure video games too, what's the chances that they don't? And they did. Um, only one that isn't complete and the one I'm least excited about is Kingdom Hearts. I rented this way back in the day and I actually didn't like it that much. Um, probably because I got stuck on it. Like I kind of was going about it in the opposite order that I should have been. And I ended up fighting Sephiroth way too way too early and I got wrecked. Um, next up I got the first Bioshock, which is actually the reason I purchased the 360 in the first place. I never actually owned this. I always intended to get it and then I just put it off, put it off, put it off until I was no longer that interested. I'm kind of annoyed. The case was in good condition until I dropped it, bringing it to the car because I was carrying it inside this and that's when the bottom of the thing came out and this shattered a little bit so I'm gonna have to replace it probably swap it out with a with a sports title or something like look at this it has GameStop stickers all over it anyway so that's a lot less I have to deal with I also got Left 4 Dead um, complete first one I haven't played this game I don't oh that's probably not a good thing if he's getting up on there um, yeah hopefully that's okay uh, might play it, might not. Like, probably doesn't have much of an online community now that the second one is out, but whatever. And another game, um, Elite Beat Agents, which I've always wanted to play. Hear great things about, but once again, never got around to purchasing it. Um, for all that, I spent $20. He wanted $20, I talked him down to $20. Tag sale season! Tag sale season! Oh my god, I love it! Oh, I want to live... I, I need to be in a part of the United States where they have tag sales all year round. Or maybe it's because I'm in Connecticut and it just became... It was like the first warm weekend we've had ever since I can remember. And first... Well, technically the second tag sale, uh, they listed... They had... Um, electronics, which is basically, well this guy was actually young, but I find that to be old people talk for video games that I don't know what are. Um, this guy I, I roll up, he has a Game Gear, uh, a Dreamcast, which is only missing the AV cords, um, a complete PlayStation 2 with a whole bunch of controllers and memory cards, or a PlayStation 1 actually, I think I just said 2, um, and a ColecoVision. Now, I know nothing about ColecoVision, but I'm interested because he's missing the cords for it, which kind of sucks, but I'm not going to be keeping that for myself because it's just going to be a waste of space, in my opinion. But, got it all for 40 bucks. I talked him down to 40. Alright, just hit the first one, uh, first tag sale in Manchester that I was excited about because they listed PlayStation 2 games, and... He has some PlayStation 2 games and some Xbox games, but he wants $5 a piece, and the only one I was interested in was Sonic Mega Collection Plus, and I only really want that for like a dollar, because it's, really, it's in really grimy condition, and the front cover is like all bent, and uh, just really not in good shape, so, um, passed up on that, trying to hit the next one. Alright guys, so, I just went the wrong direction. I'm really bad at using a GPS when it's not up here. I still am missing the thing that keeps it at my window. So I'm just kind of holding it in my hand and I keep forgetting to look at it. Um, so I'm going to end up hitting this Goodwill before I head to the Cromwell tag sale because 
I was gonna hit the Goodwill anyway, so maybe it works out. Because I really, I, this is my favorite Goodwill. It may not be my best one, but for some reason I just like, I love coming here. I don't know why. All right, I feel pretty good about this Goodwill stop because I got a system that I've been wanting more and more every week based on what I'm seeing in the stores. I keep finding uh, Xbox games and they're Xbox games that aren't compatible. Oh, I just went the wrong way. Uh, trying to get out of this parking lot now. <laughs> um, they're Xbox games that aren't compatible with 360. So I've been kind of wanting to get a original Xbox and I've missed up on one. I missed out on one because I was kind of lazy at the Goodwill about a week ago when I already had a PlayStation 2 in hand and the line, it was a Saturday actually, so yeah, it was a, exactly a week ago, so the line was ridiculous and I didn't want to go back um, and get back in line after I get out of line to go get the Xbox. Well, I have to check out the Xbox, see what price it was. They wanted $10 for it there. I got this one for 15 so I don't feel too bad about that. Th this one's in pretty good condition. It's a little scratched, um, and it doesn't have the Goodwill um, sticker that says that it's been tested. So, you know, who knows, but let's hope for the best. I also got a couple of PlayStation 2 games. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the last one for today. Um, the only thing I picked up at this tag sale was some Country Time Lemonade for some kids for a dollar. Very refreshing. Well worth it. Another thing I wanted to talk about, um, I don't know how it is wherever anybody else lives. Like, I always hear people, especially out in, like, Florida, watching, um, Scott Swatch, if that's how you say it. Uh, I love his show, love his channel, video game, uh, Chasers 2, down in Texas. Like, they're always talking about how they hit, like, 15 tag sales. Now, I just can't imagine this because up here, like, this, given this is only the second week where there's been tag sales because of how cold it's been, and the fact that we just keep getting more snow, but today, not for one tag sale did I see any signs pointing to where it is. Like, I had to be on Craigslist, I had to know the exact address I needed to have a GPS to find these places, so I hope people start wisening up because that's just really stupid. Like, for the cost of cardboard, you could actually get your, you know, construction paper or whatever, regular paper and some tape. Just advertise your tag sale, like, visually, so people will actually show up. Like, every single one of these tag sales I've gone to has just been me. And, like, maybe another person who probably found it on Craigslist. Like, it's ridiculous. Just advertise your shit, people. Hey, guys. Uh, Corey Zamir here, just wrapping up this video for the week. Gonna get this video out earlier than usual. I usually put it up on Sunday, but it's Easter weekend and I'm planning to spend some time with family. So I'm not gonna be going out anywhere tomorrow, so there's no point in putting off uh, putting this up. Maybe get some more views this way. Uh, well, we had a pretty good weekend. I talked about most of what I saw earlier in the video, but this is just gonna be the overview. I'm in my mom's living room right now. Um, kind of got everything out on the floor. We're gonna get down there, but I had to Basically test to see if there was anything in this Xbox and there is there's a world championship poker 2 featuring Howard let letterer. I have no idea who that is, but it opens I had the I know I've never had an Xbox, but I've heard there's a trick where you have to like kind of bang on it as you open it and That is true. I had to do that but now it opens, so, um, I, I also am confused about, should have had this over here, the Xbox controller, I haven't looked up anything online yet, but, I, I, I'm probably an idiot for even wondering this, but, this, this, is supposed to fit into this, and, it, it doesn't. This, you know, I, I, this is an official Xbox controller. That's an official Xbox, obviously. So I'm, I am confused as hell as to what is wrong. So I, I need something else 
apparently to hook up my Xbox controller to my Xbox. Not that I have any games here. I have some. I forget everything. Everything I forget. I actually had a really nice pickup this week at Target. I, I know last week, so I know one watched, but I said that I wasn't going to be getting the Pikachu edition. But on Monday this week, I decided to head out to, but before work, I work at 12, and I was just like, you know, I'm going to hit some Goodwills and stop by some Target, see if they have it. If they have it, I'll pick it up because, you know, why not? I see it's going for around two, 250 to 270 and sometimes less when people don't mind getting rid of it for a whole lot less than it's worth right now. And Target had it on sale for like 160. I went to two Targets. They had nothing. And then right before I had to go to work, I hit one last Target. The last possible Target I could possibly hit before I had to get into work. And they had two of them. Now, I usually wouldn't want to spend that much money. But seeing as I knew I couldn't, like, the faster I strike on this... Like, strike while the iron's hot. I got two of them. And it actually sold before I left work that day. I listed it up on eBay while I was at work. Um, sold for 200 and I think it was $70 plus shipping. $260 plus shipping. I can't remember which. But it basically helped cover the cost of this other, the one that I'm keeping for myself, that I'm actually planning to use as my, my regular 3DS. I also got my Nintendo, uh, Club Nintendo reward in the mail, um, got Game & Watch Collection 2, probably not gonna open that, just hold on to it, I don't know, not really interested in playing it, uh, but it was, like, the best thing I could get, and with all, with getting multiple Nintendo systems and a whole bunch of DS games lately, that's a lot of points. Alright, we're gonna sit on the floor for the rest of this. Uh, so, I told you about the ColecoVision, the Dreamcast, the PlayStation, and the Game Gear. I did test the Game Gear, it works, and I tested the Power Rangers game, and I actually wasted like 20 minutes playing it, because that game is actually pretty good. Um, as far as the Dreamcast games, Dreamcast is the only system, well, the ColecoVision has games, but I don't know anything about ColecoVision, so I'm going to go over that really quick. Um, got Crazy Taxi 2, which I already have, um, I got Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour, which actually looks like a fun kart racer, which I'll try out, and then the rest are just 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sports games, like the 2K series, various years, and the web browser, which is probably worthless. The system's a little... A little grimy, but nothing that I can't clean out. Um, and the PlayStation, I haven't tested yet, but it's also a little bit grimy. Hopefully it works. I actually have some games. I probably should have tested this out before I started this video, because I do have some games I could play here. Came with two controllers, regular original controllers, from Sony, and a crappy looking third party one which I kind of want to just put in the trash or destroy on video um, and it came with some third party cannot even find out what third party multi-tap I have no idea what this is but it's a multi-tap and there was also a Mad Cats RF converter I'm assuming this is this looks like it's GameCube it doesn't attach to anything I have here but it doesn't also doesn't say what it is on it. Um, also from that big lot, I got two throw-in games, basically. I got Fable 2, which I actually want to play, complete. And the last game I got is Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, which I... Uh, I also got two Dreamcast controllers. It's kind of hard sitting down. Just kind of reaching. Oh, and they actually come with like extension cables. I guess this person was like super lazy like me. But two controllers. This one has a VMU in it and a tremor pack from Performance. Um 
the PlayStation 1 has all the cables. This video is really scatterbrained. I really shouldn't do this sitting on the floor. So it makes me super fucking lazy. Uh, so we're going to get up, and we're going to walk over to the ColecoVision, because I can't really pull that over here. I, I know nothing about this. Like, it has this red cord. I, I don't know what that does. What use that has. It's got the two controllers. I think they're... Well, they could come out, but they're attached. Uh, ColecoVision. Oh, it has an expansion module. What the hell? So I guess this is just the regular. It's actually pretty clean. Expansion module. One, I have no idea if that... I really don't know anything about this, but as for games, I got Berserk. Real Sports Baseball. These are all kind of like on the opposite side that I thought they'd be on. Um, Centipede, Venture, Mousetrap, Smurf, I, I would assume, I could have sworn, wouldn't it be called Smurfs, like that just seems dumb. The official Subrock, what? What the hell? Donkey Kong, and the, the guy actually tried to sell me on this because he's just like, well, the Donkey Kong game goes for $20 alone on eBay when we were negotiating price. I looked it up, it goes for like $2, I think. Also, I just forgot, I also got um, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories and SSX3 at Goodwill when I got the, uh, when I got the Xbox here. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please have a happy Easter.